What's up, fellow traders, and welcome to Spike Nation. I'm your host, and I will be taking you through the onboarding process of Spike Eat. Okay, so in today's onboarding video, we'll be talking about the My App page, which is right after you sign in. So you guys can go ahead and sign in, and I'll see you on the other side. So after you sign in, you should see a home page that looks something like this if this is your first time signing in. It starts you off at the app template. So this is the app template and you start off in the my data section. Okay. You have a couple of other different sections, my data, create data request. You can see that products. And then you have this app that's in beta called market stats. So next what we have here is our data plans. Spikey doesn't just provide data. We also provide charting. Um, if you're interested in something like this, it says quant yearly members get unlimited charting access for free. Our charting, the data is provided by us. The software is actually powered by TradingView. So if you're familiar with TradingView and their charting software, then you're going to love our charting. But I would recommend this plan right here. So this is the quant yearly plan. And this has the best of the best and it's the cheapest. I think it's the best bang for your buck. Um, one, you get to download your data. So that's very important to me. On top of getting downloading your data, you get the Excel plugin. If you're familiar with Excel, then you know how powerful this is. And you also get unlimited charting and you get unlimited requests. So for that, I think Quant Yearly gives you the best bang for your buck without a doubt. So this is going to be your best bet. The, the trader plan's not bad. This could be a sufficient plan. Uh, some people have different, you know, priorities. Maybe they only want to study two, two months, three months, four months, something like that. And they only need a max filter of six. These filters are going to be your conditions that you set inside your scan. You only need to have six conditions to meet your scan requirements. As you can see, this one is unlimited quant yearly. So if that is the case, then traders should be sufficient for, for most of us who are looking to get data build out multiple edges, you're going to want to go with the yearly plan. So going back to the my data page here, right? Let's talk about our app template. So just in general, the my data page is going to be, you know, your laboratory for data. You're going to be cooking up all your scans here. You're going to be organizing your data, going through stuff, looking at charts. This is all going to be done inside here. When you first log in, and this is your first time logging in, if you don't have any data, uh, you haven't made any data requests yet. You're going to start here at this app template page and these little app templates are just starter packs for you to study a strategy and pull data for a strategy. Small cap gappers, earnings plays, news catalysts. They're just providing you with a head start. So we have many more. So let's go through all of them. Small cap gappers, earnings, plays, news catalysts, midday runners, sparkers in the first 15 minutes, 52 week breakout high, crazy OTC, price to sell ratio, all day faders, overextended gap downs, build and build a volume forecast. And all these have descriptions. So let's say you want to start looking at earnings plays. All right. The first thing you go to filters and you can look, you can see what this is filtered by. Company had earnings today between the start of the day to the end of the day, pretty much. Then you can look at your columns and it tells you what you're tracking in the column. So filters is going to be what creates your scan. Columns is going to be what track your data. So we can hit use. And I want to look at all the earnings for 2023. And with that, I'll just click edit filters. And you can see this is our filters. We can add filters in here by different sections, identity, daily, intraday, indicator, fundamental and custom. So, and I'll just say, and you can edit all this. I mean, maybe I should add something here. So let's just say you want to get security class. So we can add security class. And now we can track security class in our data. All right. So you can edit all this and you can also do custom scans. You can create your own custom scan. You can build your own by using the formatting here to build out a, you know, your own scan or you can do what they already give you. Like I want a high a day. I want low a day. I want change from open and change from close. Now I've added this. I hit review. 
This is where your daily updates can be found. So I'll turn this on. I want to get the earnings data for each day, see which earnings data is happening, which earnings plays are happening. And you can also turn on email notifications here. So this is just going to review everything for you. Just going to review your filters. It's going to review your columns. As you can see, this is our filters. We only have earnings. These are all the columns we're tracking earnings for. And we hit get data. Okay, so while that's getting done, we can talk about, you know, what we can do in here. So you can organize your data. So you can make it, you can add a folder. So I'll just say new folder. You can delete the folders, right? Very simple to see that. Um, you can put data in these folders. So when I click on this folder, whatever data I have for this, uh, and you can also remove this data. Remove from folder. So I can just remove that. You can also star data. So if I want to star this, now the star data pops up in here and I can remove it by clicking the star again. So I'll just click that again and now it's gone. So you have all these different options to organize your data and trash data can be found here. So let's say I wanted to delete these this small cap gappers. I hit delete and now it's at the top of the Oh, well, there's large cap gappers, but now it's at the top and now I can hit restore and boom. Now that's restored back. Oh, we can talk about my templates. So in this app templates, you can create, you have these buttons here, right? So with these buttons, you can, you know, you can see it says view template, use template, add template, right? So use template is what I showed you earlier and you can add this template. So we're just going to do this midday runner template. So now when I go in here, I have a midday runner template. And once again, you can see the description, you can view it, you know, you can view the columns, et cetera, et cetera. It, you can also run a template out of your my data here. Just click here and say save data request as template. So if you create a data request and you want to save it, you can save it as a template as well. Great data request is going to start you here. It's going to go to the basic page. So let's just do large, large cap gappers. Oh, left out of P. Large cap gappers. I want to do large cap gappers for 2023. And I'll click next. So you start off at identity. So identity is going to be the first part. And we'll go over all the different filters and columns in another video. But this is going to be a quick high level overview. Your filters create your scan. Once again, your columns track the data for your scan. Security class is stock common or stock ADR. That's going to be the basis of foundation for what we pull from. I want the price at open to be higher than $3. So on the day that these conditions are met, I want the price to be higher than $3. Pretty simple. Don't want anything else here. I'll go for it has to have news. So we're going to do a new scan um, on the day. And then we'll do custom scan. We'll say gap percent greater than four. Uh, let's actually boost this up. Let's do gap percent greater than six. And you can, you know, you can also scan by other different filters. You, like I said before, you can make your own uh, custom scans and things of that nature. But we'll get into that in another video. So we'll just c collect some basic data. So we're just building out our template for what data we want to collect. We want to collect symbol. We want to collect the name. Let's also collect the open, the high, the low, the close, the volume, uh, and the date. And we do not, I'm not going to collect any intraday data, but you could, if that's what you wanted to do, you can get things like VWAP. You can create uh, things like 20 day, you know, so if you wanted to have a 20 day scan, I mean a 20 day uh, moving average, so a 20 day SMA, to say 20 day SMA, you can get that. So this will give you the 20 day SMA 20 days back. This is some more advanced things, but I'm just showing you guys, you, whatever you think you can pull or whatever you want to pull, you can probably do it here. I want the market cap as well. So add market cap and then uh, we can get the earnings. You can get all types of earnings data in here. Uh, and then 
gap percent high day low day change close then you can hit review once again turn on daily updates if that's what you want to do you want to track this in the future or you can get email notifications uh, once again I don't need the email notifications and you just hit get data so you can see this finished and this finished in three minutes and 30 seconds and we pulled you know all the earnings plays for this year regardless of gap percent so that's going to be a lot of data so the first thing to do if you want to look at what your scan was same thing as before with the app templates you can click filters columns and it'll show you word display still works here you can edit and everything but we'll open up data so this is the first time you'll see the data so this is what the data looks like zoom in a little bit here so you see you have symbol security class date exchange open high volume cash total liabilities we have everything that we asked for and it pulled it for you know various of stocks so i don't know how many but let's see if we can scroll down to the bottom <laughs> so it pulled it for over 11,000 stocks and in three minutes and 30 seconds we pulled all this data for all of that so if we get out of here all right, we'll leave this open actually, but we go back to um, our page. We can now view the charting for this. So I want to make this very clear. You can view charting and you can view data. So you can view charting and you can view the data right in the platform. All right, so let's view the charting. So quickly while this loads, let's talk about some of the things you can do in charting. You can change this to how many charts per page. You can also, you know, change this to be the daily data, which is what I want to see. And then you can also sync that. You can sync up. It says sync indicators and time frames. You can add an indicator. So you can add like moving average or something. You know. All right. So now that our charts are done loading, uh, you can see if you take up here, it says one out of 20 out of 11,410. So this is directly linked to our results in Zoho. So this is directly linked to our scan. As you can see, uh, 11,411 is WEXPF. Not sure what that is, but uh, if we go over to our last one, WEXPF, you can see here that WEXPF is, or it's an OTC stock. Um, so you see here, WEXPF, we have all the information here. It's synced up. It's on a daily. We have our indicator here. Uh, this thing looks like it gaps all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so you get a good visual of what the charting looks like. Like I said, this is TradingView software with Spike Eats data. So no questions there. You can download all the data. You can download all the charts. With the charting showcase done, we can go over what we discuss. So we discuss how to view charting, how to access your data, how to create your own template with the create data requests, where you can find your templates, how to save and edit templates, and even how to get started with app template and organize and recover trash data. Lastly, I will be showing you how to access your account information. So you scroll to the bottom left, it says user, you click on it, account settings, and you'll find yourself in this page. Here we have our user profile. With the user profile, you can change your name, call yourself whatever you want. You can also change your password, and then you have email notifications, and these email notifications just alert you of when your scans are done, when you get daily updates, things of that nature. It actually starts enabled. And then we have billing. Inside billing, you'll find your payment methods. My billing should look a little bit different from yours because I have a free account provided by Spike Eat. But if I had a credit card, it would then show, you know, remove payment method along with add payment method. And then you'll also have a subscription history. Uh, and inside description history, you can find what type of product you have, either charting or, you know, your data plan, the data was created, 
or the day you signed up for it, and also your current status, either active or pending or, you know, whatever the case may be. So you hit add payment method, and this is what it looks like when you're trying to add a payment method. So you fill that out and you can get started. Well, all right, that wraps up this onboarding video, but stay tuned and check your emails for more onboarding videos in the future.